Hi guys, Ape here of the Pocketbot Collective. And today we're gonna have a look at another Beast Wars character. This is Terragator. But before we're gonna have a look at him, let's see what he comes with. Terragator comes in this blister bubble box, part of the Fusors line. Has a set of instructions. Really simple. Not much to it. He is a basic class figure, which is comparative to uh, modern days legend class and core class figures. Um, bear in mind, this toy is 20 plus years old. <laughs> um, like I said, part of the Fusers line. Also comes with this little um, uh, toy catalog, which I showed off already in the Optimus Miner review. So if you want to check that out, go check out that review. Has the dinosaur eye uh, behind it and some nice artwork on top. He is a predator, apparently, because we know them as Predacons, of course. Or Destrons in the Japanese line. We have some more toys from this wave. There we go. Let's get rid of that, shall we? And let's have a look at Terrigator himself. Like I said, he's a basic class figure. Pretty nicely sculpted. Love the shield and all the texture they put on it. It's got brown, yellows, golds, uh, greens. Really cool. The alligator himself is green and yeah, just this beige. And it looks like he's got denim jeans on down here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there we go. Um, what I like about this guy is how they certain parts in are incorporated because you can see that these spikes on the side of his shell are separated as well as these two right here. That's because one arm is folded this way and the other arm is folded that way. Obviously these will become the robot legs and these are just part of his weapon because he has weapons but they're integrated. He's got a shield and the tail becomes a gun, which you might be able to tell from the bottom there already. And he has a little action feature. When you push the tail in, he has some chomping action. There we go. That's about as much as I can say of the alt mode. Um, let's do a few comparisons so you know what size he is. I already said he... Uh, He's comparative to core class and legend class. So let's bring in some figures. Here he is with Iron Factory's Run Amok and with Hasbro's core class Rat Trap. And you can see that he fits right in with these figures. Just one more quick comparison, because I think they look cute together. 20-year-old <laughs> toy, and this is a couple of weeks old toy. It's um, Transformers Classic Heroes Optimus Primal. <laughs> well, I thought they looked, uh, looked pretty cool together. But yeah, let's get into transformation, shall we?
And that's it! Terrigator transformed! <laughs> like you saw, really easy transformation, but a fun one. Um, well thought out. Um, weapon store, uh, weapons integrate again. Like you saw, I didn't even take the shield off. Technically, you wouldn't need to take the tail off either. You can transform with everything on. It just makes it a bit easier if you take it off. Do have to say, without his weapons, he looks a little bit naked, <laughs> which I'll show you. We take the gun off. We take the shield off. And then we are left with this little guy, which is fine, except he has a very large croc head now on his shoulder. Uh, but yeah, um, one thing I forgot to talk about in in beast mode, um, he is of course a fusor. He's a fusion of an alligator and a snapping turtle, but he's not an alligator snapping turtle. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> but it works well. Um, now, for his robot mode. Ball joints. Ball joints. Hinge. No ball joint there, but he has got the ball joint at the elbow. So you can pose him pro uh, pretty much. And he's got a rotation here. Head is also on a swivel and due to transformation you can have him look down a little bit but it becomes a bit weird um has got waist swivel actually due to transformation ball joints in there ball joint there ball joint there you get all the range of motion cleans up well And like I said, the shield, which, oh sorry by the way, also has its Predacon symbol in there. Which still works after 20 years. Don't know if you can see it that well, but there you go. And just has these two pegs, so they peg onto his hand and lower arm here. And I actually like the way that looks. And it's pretty posable as well. Um, if you're thinking, but who is this guy? I don't remember him from the shows. That's correct. Terrigator wasn't in any of the animated shows. Not the American one, nor the Japanese ones, I think. Um, not 100% sure about the Japanese ones, but I'm pretty sure there were, he wasn't in there. But he was in the IDW comics from 2006. The Gathering and The Ascending. And that's where I know this guy from. And uh, I, I like the way he looks. He didn't play a big role really. Uh, but he's just a cool looking figure. Let's bring him in for that head sculpt. Pretty menacing. He's an angry, not alligator snapping turtle. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Like all the details on it, the blue and green work well, the contrast of the shield. It's a fun figure to have in the collection. Now, I mentioned before that he's what we nowadays consider legend class and core class. So let's bring in some comparisons. First off, our boy Runabout from Iron Factory. And you can see that they're pretty much the same height. And here he is with Transform Elements Scorponok and Hasbro's Red Trap, the core class Red Trap. And you see that he integrates well with these figures. So I'm happy to have him in the collection. Let's get these guys out of the way again. And there he is with Beast Wars Megatron. From the Kingdom line. And you can see that he holds up pretty well. Compared to that as well. And that's for an old toy. I love the articulation on these basic Beast Wars figures. They're very poseable. 
Uh, they look good. They don't uh, um, sacrifice anything, so to say, because uh, the robot mode is pretty cool. The alligator snapping turtle fusion mode is very cool, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, he, he's a fun figure to have. Um, one of my favorites. And that's about all I have to say about him. <laughs> that is Beast Wars Terrigator. Let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see more of these figures? Tell me in the comments. And we'll make it happen. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching once again. And I'll see you next time. Ape out.